Holy moly, there's so many things going on today in Raid, but I'm really excited to share this busted Sun Wukong team with you for Hydra. Let's come along and do all the things today. What's up guys, MTG Jedi here. Thank you so much for your patience. Um, my little one is doing well. We actually had to go back into the hospital, uh, but he's good. We He just needed to go in for observation, but he's good now. Um, but my upload schedule might be a little different than normal here for a little while. We're just gonna get the videos recorded and uploaded whenever we have time, and that's what we're doing right now. So enjoy, just make sure you have your notifications turned on so that you get notified whenever I upload, um, uh, because it could be here, there, and everywhere. So, jumping right in today, we are talking about Sun Wukong, but we also have a new fusion upcoming. Let me throw that on screen real quick in case you haven't seen it yet. Okay, so Strategos Islin? I don't like that name whatsoever. That's, just put Strategist. Strategist and pick another name. I don't like that. But his kit seems great. A1 Provoke. A2 decrease speed and decreases the duration of all enemy buffs by a turn. And then A3 ally protection, increased defense counterattack on himself. Plus he has the this like heal, passive heal thing and the accuracy in all battles aura. This guy seems very, very good. I highly recommend him in this game. And I think you should definitely go for him if you can. He's going to be an amazing fusion and a fragment fusion. That's going to be starting soon. So figure out whether you have the resources and the enthusiasm to do this fusion. Because I think he could be great for Hydra and, you know, maybe Clan Boss if you're early game. But yeah, definitely could be a good Hydra champion with that decreased speed and provoke. Very nice kit. It seems like he can do a lot for you all in one kit. So I'm definitely going to go for him. I hope you will too. But what we need to focus on is a different new champion in the game, Sun Wukong, and what he's going to bring to our accounts. Okay, so as you can see, I do have it maxed out. I was planning on getting this video out ASAP, but... You know, then we had to make sure my son was okay. So, you know, that's still kind of a little bit more important than a raid video on a new champion. But he looks freaking cool. In case I haven't said it yet, he looks freaking cool. I love, I love this champion. He is simply amazing. He is going to be so annoying for the arena. But the main thing that you want to pay attention to here for his kit is, number one, his A2 is not going to work as well as you would like in Hydra. But that doesn't mean it's not amazing for Arena. And I'm assuming there's other places you could use him too. But like Hydra and Arena is the main two, right? So over here, his A3 is the main one that you're going to want to use in your Hydra team. Because he can be your block buffs champion. And the great thing about him is... Because you're going to build him as a damage dealer, and he's an attack-based nuker, um, you are not going to have to worry about survivability with him because of his passive. He's just going to die and then come back. And because he's going to be probably the lowest HP in your team, the Hydra heads will likely target him over and over and over again. And then if he dies, he revives himself. So it limits your need for a reviver in Hydra depending on what your team is, okay? Now, here's going to be my stats on him. This is for Hydra. You could probably use the same build in Arena, but if you're going to mainly use him in Arena, I would go for a different build than this. This is just what I chose to do for Hydra, and that is going to be Relentless and Perception, okay? I actually did manage to get in a Reaction Ring, but it's a quad defense. Um, you know, I got this nice little roll while I was in the hospital while Little Padawan was sleeping. 
and I figured that was perfect to put on him. He does need some defensive stats. His defense is quite low. This has the flat defense um, ascension and the defense stats. Do you need that? No, but it's cool, and I wanted to show you, okay? So shoot for these stats, and then if you can't put him in Relentless, it's fine. Um, but for Hydra, if you're going to be using him on Brutal where I did, you're really going to want him over that 250 speed mark, and you're going to want him kind of close to that three or, or 400 accuracy, okay? These are the stats that I got on him. His attack is not that high, but... As I said, you know, it's really for Hydra, and we can come in here. I have been doing my live arena fights, guys, okay? What am I in? Did I hit Silver 3 yet? I think I hit Silver 3. I'm either in Silver 2 or Silver 3, and I've been getting a lot of fights done. Uh, as you can see, we do have some area bonuses going on here. Nothing really crazy, but, like, the speed plus 6. That's legit. All right, so what is great about him is is your ability to reconstruct your teams similar to how Uko allows you to do that. Uko, his kit is very well suited towards Hydra as well, and that's kind of similar to what we're doing here with Sun Wukong, because what he's going to do is he's going to steal all the buffs. Now, since he's in Relentless, and he's going fast, and he's placing block buffs, it doesn't matter what his resistance is, okay? You're going to place the block buffs, and then if all of those buffs get stolen again, then there's block buffs there, so you don't need to worry about it. All right, so without further ado, let's jump in and look at my team, and we'll also talk about other team combinations that are going to work really well with him also. Okay, so over here on the Hydra Clash screen, we're in third place, and it's a rough one. We have some insanity going on over here. Um, if you just take a look, like, it's just, it's just crazy. Like, two, wait, what is 21 billion points? 21 billion points from the one team because he can run the Infinity team on Brutal. And then I think the same thing is true here, uh, but he did his on hard. Um, not quite as insane, but as you can see, just like tons of tons of people with that team in this clan, right? Uh, we're in third place, but we're hoping to lock that down. We still have a bunch of keys to use, but it's, it's going to be close. It's going to be really close, and... I don't know. Honestly, I kind of feel like everybody, all five teams, should get some kind of chest. But maybe that's just me. I do like the fact that it's competitive. But I also don't like these cadaver teams, even though I built it myself. Okay, so with that being said, you're going to see my cadaver team here as well. And I was able to do mine on hard, so I got my most amount of points that I've ever gotten, which is going to be... 2 billion, which is still an incredible amount. Um, excuse me, 1.4 billion was my actual thing, and then with the two times multiplier. Okay, but the top team is the one that you're going to want to pay attention to here. Okay, now obviously there's a lot of void legendaries here. Okay, one, two, three, four, four void legendaries, and then we have. Razzlevarg, who most people should have, and Sun Wukong, who everybody should have. But these types of spots are easily transferable to other things, okay? You can easily recreate this team with other champions, but this is the team that I was able to do, and I am quite pleased with it, okay? This team was my highest score on the actual server we had what 193 million 190 almost 193 million and you can see here the damage output so sun wukong with these stats did 18 million damage and the whole goal of a team like this for me was to get everybody in the team doing damage I don't know if you knew this, but Terrace is holding it down with the most amount of damage, okay? Um, Razzlevarg, I'm shocked by his damage. 
And Krisk, the reason why he's getting so much damage is because he's in a cursed set, as you can see here, and that cursed set is getting him tons of hex damage. If you don't have hex in your team yet, you need it in there. It's super important, okay? Who can you put in here if you don't have these champions? Let's talk about some replacements, but Sun Wukong in this team was absolutely amazing for him. Let me know what you guys think about this team in the comments below. All right, so if you don't have Venus, the most obvious inclusion there is going to be Lydia, okay? Lydia is going to be an amazing champion for you. She has all of the things that you need, and if you don't have her, then you can use any decreased defense champion. You could use uh, Tyrell, even. Um, you could use Ragash. You know, whoever you want to use is fine. Terrace is not necess necessary in this team, but obviously if you take him out, you're losing your biggest damage dealer here. Um, as it appears, I do not have my blessings completely optimized, and that's okay. We at least have them most of the way there, but I will need I will need to change Brimstone on Crisk or Venus. Not sure which. Maybe we'll put Phantom Touch. Oh, you know what? We'll put Lightning Cage probably on Crisk. That will help him get targeted more. I've been loving Lightning Cage in Hydra. That has really been a great find for me, is, is Lightning Cage, okay? It helps with the targeting, you get bonus damage from it, it's really, really good. So, I'm going to pause the video and make a note of that for myself. The other thing that I was thinking about is that my Sun Wukong's uh, damage stats are really not that great. So, do I want to put him in crit damage gloves? Do I want to take him out of Relentless and make him faster? I don't know. I was looking at some builds today on my account, and I just couldn't find one that was fast enough with more damage. I didn't find any builds that I liked, so I'm going to I'm gonna continue thinking about that. Um, but one of the builds that I liked had about 100% crit rate, 200% crit damage, and 300 speed, but it wasn't in Relentless. So if you guys think that would be more damage, let me know, because that would be really helpful to me. Obviously, I want to get as much damage as possible. So let's say you go ahead and replace the Venus with somebody else. Trying to fit an HP burn champion in could go in Razzlevarg's spot, but that could also be a provoker, okay? And then probably Cardio would be replaced with Mithrala. And Terrace would be replaced with some other damage dealer, like Husker Royal Guard. I don't know who you would replace Chris with, in all honesty. Maybe the new fusion that we just talked about. He might be able to do it. You know, he's got some provoking on his A1. He would be putting the decrease speed. So maybe that is a suitable replacement for the Chris in this team, is the new fusion. But either way, I think that starting off with Sun Wukong, and then building your Hydra team around him is a great idea. And I think that he's going to really help you out in your Hydra teams to not only get more damage, but also make them more stable. So if you're using Sun Wukong in your Hydra teams, please let me know in the comments below, or send me a message in Discord with the team that you're using him with. I'd love to get some more information on teams you guys are using. And... I would love to know if you want to see more teams built from me using him. I know that I want to build him on the free-to-play account. I just don't know. Ugh, I need to skip this fusion, but I also want this fusion. I literally don't know what to do on the free-to-play account. I have so many champions I need to build. So many champions. But I, I think the free-to-play is nearing the end of its lifespan. So I'll probably start looking for a responsible person who wants to take over the account. I'm not going to do the giveaway at, to a random person because I want somebody I can trust running that account because it's going to stay in my clan, Oath of the Jedi. So I want somebody a, a little bit more hand-picked. If you think that's you, message me and we'll talk about it. Do all the things, hit the like button, subscribe to the channel, and let me know your thoughts on Sun Wukong. Thanks for hanging out with me for a bit. I'm going to go hang out with my wife and son now, but 
you should look forward to more content from me and hopefully I'll have time to stream and figure out how all that's going to work now with everything going on. Have a great day and I'll see you guys in the next video.